This week, the Rainbow Wahine golf team hosts its final tournament of the season, the 24th annual Dr. Donis Thompson Invitational. But this year's tournament brings on special meaning since it is the first since the passing of the pioneer and champion of women's sports. Well, I think the contributions that Donis Thompson made to the UH Athletic Department are just too numerous for me to talk about right now. But basically, she, be, she was the first women's AD, I think 1972. I think we had two sports at the time, uh, track and field and volleyball. And during her tenure, uh, she increased that to eight sports. Uh, she basically was the women's athletic department here at UH in the, in the early goings. She had very little help. She was a one-man gang. I mean, she did it all, including, I think, sometimes washing the uniforms. But, uh, you know, without her, I don't know where we'd, we would be today. Um, she was a pioneer, you know, in her own right and, and pushed and um, just fought for women's athletics on this campus. And, and then that kind of thrust us into the national limelight and she fought for us uh, and for every women's athlete or athletic teams uh, throughout the country. So uh, even though she was here, she was fighting for uh, everybody on the mainland as well.